Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this one's going to be talking about the mess with the Speaker of the House. And we got different candidates. So, you know, we started out with Nancy Pelosi. What an amazing situation we had there. Then uh, we Kevin McCarthy barely squeaked in, accepted terms. They got him where he is today, which is out. Jim Jordan, probably the strongest candidate. Steve Scalise, we already know. No way. Unless something turns around. And then uh, Nakeem Jeffries, if there's some sort of allegiance or a uh, com- uh, deal made between the Democrats and just five um, Republicans. Um, it could be Nakeem Jeffries. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, please subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. We're going to talk about um, Pelosi. We're going to talk about um, Uh, McCarthy, Jim Jordan, a little bit about Scalise, just to see if maybe he gets back into the picture. And um, and then uh, Nakeem Jeffries, because maybe, you know, that could work out. So it's unbelievable. And um, that everything could be so uh, determinate on, it seems like nothing. Okay. The Republicans have no reason uh, th- why? Who would want to be in that position? One vote and you're out. So we'll see what the cards can tell us. Uh, but before we do anything, let's have just a moment, you know, a meditation. So it's amazing uh, that we find ourselves in the situation again. So let's see Pelosi. Just to get her out of the picture, she is out of the picture. She's only uh, given her opinion a couple of times. Um, And uh, so let's just, just to say, what about Nancy? Nancy Pelosi, three cards. Let's see where is her head. Can the cards tell us anything more? I think she's just going to finish out. Uh, But uh, three cards for Nancy Pelosi. She's not going to be speaker again. That's definite. But I just wonder where is, what's her place in this somehow. So Nancy Pelosi, first card up, is the Ace of Cups. Okay, so she is the heart. This is like the Ace of Hearts. So she's uh, got this um, element of uh, this political um, turmoil. She represents the Ace of Hearts. Uh, the next card for her is the Page of Swords. So this is interesting. You know, the Page is one of the least effective of the royal cards. Uh, he just brings a, or she in this case, just brings a message to the court for the court's consideration. Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And this Page of Swords just looks like it's having to swallow some of that. So just a messenger of uh, hard truths, I would say. A messenger of hard truths. So she's an Ace of Cups, Ace of Hearts, and a messenger of hard truths. And then the final one here is the Seven of Wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. This is a weary, um, uh, you know, someone who's battled and they're weary. They're going to keep going. Uh, but you can see that this person. And so that's uh, what we get for Nancy Pelosi. Uh, Ace of Hearts, uh, Page of Swords, so uh, messenger of a hard truth. And then a fighter who will not give up uh, on their actions. So Nancy Pelosi, kind of cool. Uh, Jim, uh, <laughs> Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy. Let's do three cards on him. Um, you th- would think he was uh, embarrassed enough that he couldn't show his face anymore. And then he says, well, I'd do it if they asked me, basically. So uh, Kevin McCarthy, three cards for him. One, two, three. Of course, we all know, is he gonna do it again? Will they offer it to him again? Um, Is he trying to get the job again? Kevin McCarthy, in the heavens. First card, six of uh, swords is typically moving out of troubled water. 
And uh, so this is a barrel full of truth, justice, rules, and law. This was uh, uh, pushing along someone it looks like precious to them. So maybe he's on his way out, definitely. Um, and then we have these Six of Cups, which is kind of remembering how things were in the past. Yeah, maybe he's, he's remembering, oh yeah, th this, it didn't used to be this hard. And then the final one here is um, this Ten of Coins, which is all about happy family. So I think he's decided, listen, I've got my pension. I'm out. I can make noise once in a while, but yeah, I'm done. Kevin McCarthy. So then we got Jim Jordan. His, the situation with him is I think he's done so much wrong that he's realized, like Trump perhaps, that he just has to keep trying to get to the top until things get so far in the past that they don't matter anymore. Um, the problem is he's a relatively young man. So whatever's going on here is going to hang on him like um, toilet paper on your shoe, but it's going to last a whole lot longer. And uh, so he's never going to see the end of this. So, so let's do uh, three cards for Jim Jordan. Hopefully they can tell us whether there's a speakership or maybe a little bit about his future in general. So Jim Jordan, three cards. We've got the world card, beginnings and endings in a big, big, big way. Huh. And it's a huge Republican. I wonder if he does get the speakership. Um, ooh, the Republican again. So Ten of Wands, a lot of stuff to carry and a broken heart. Wow. I think there's a chance he might either get the speakership or get close to it at least because there's a lot look how worried this this uh gop this elephant is with this big load to move up uh, the hill and it's, it's just falling down on his butt and then uh the whole thing was just a heartache not looking good for jim jordan um then uh steve scalise i think he's just said look i'm got bone cancer i've got lots going on and this is like herding wild cats, not just cats, herding, you know, feral cats. So Steve Scalise, as far as trying to rule the Congress, Steve Scalise, what can these Circus Sideshow Tarot cards tell us about Steve Scalise? You would have thought he just kept his head down. So the Eight of Pentacles is practicing your craft. Yeah, he knows he's at the end of his life. He's at the end of his career. This is what he's done all his life. Practicing your craft is like, okay, let me get this one last, what this would be a jewel on top of my political life. Uh, yeah, happy family. And Page of Cups, you know, Page again is the messenger of the Royal Court. Cups are emotion. So, oh yeah, there's a, there's a thimbleful, if not more, of an emotional component to him wanting to have been the Speaker of the House, but then he got in there and realized, one more card. The Knight of Coins. This is the guy who's gonna fight for their value. I think he had to choose uh, what his value was that he's gonna fight for because there's not enough of him to go around these days. So he had to fight for the value of him as a the re, re, living out the rest of his life in the most positive manner forward or the value of the speakership at this time of his fragile health and at this time of the broken uh, speakership. Sad. Uh, the key, the, you know, something like that should be something that would be the pinnacle of your career and you would look forward to uh, and come out in an honorable way. Now, Nakeem Jeffries. Nakeem Jeffries. Ah, oh, gosh. Let me get those cards. Nakeem Jeffries. What fill it out, by the way? Ace of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So those are strong cards. Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And an awful lot of a heart here in that Queen of Cups. So I wonder if I'm going to cut that out. Probably not. I'll leave it in. Um, me diving for the cards. So Nakeem Jeffries, let's do, let's do three cards for him. It's not fair to give one any more uh, space than the other one. So three cards for Nakeem Jeffries. Okay. Of course we want to know if he's going to be speaker, uh, but whatever the cards can tell us, it's interesting usually. So. Hermit. That's very interesting because it's the least thing I would think of him. So 
this is uh, uh, what the hermit card does represent is introspection and really being careful uh, uh, what you how you move forward well this could be a good card to represent him then because he does need to every breath he takes right now has to really start to walk a fine line if he's going to maybe attract five votes from the other side uh, the next one is is wheel of fortune it's a crapshoot and then the last one here is the seven of coins ah wondering if i've done enough almost looks a little bit like him as we squint but yeah this is pent coins are value and this is in the end he's left wondering if i had done enough um i'm thinking no not gonna get it well that's what i got for today hey i'm gonna show you the cards now hang on so Le Grand circus and sideshow tarot by joe lee these are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow, Joe Lee, uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very in interesting person. And uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him. Um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well at the Clown College there uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that. And then uh, he's done other things in his life. And then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards, he uh, designed these um to be so very useful they're easy to use um, the art on them is amazing and if you know your right away system you're not going to have a problem you know deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean i mean they're pretty self-explanatory and fun 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 to look at so you know i do this so that you can have a look at these cards uh and, you know if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards Otherwise, you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time. And uh, I think it's just that you're missing out on a lot. So, you know, this uh, Le Grand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot, I love using these. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So, ciao for now.